There's something I've been recently repeating in my head that helps me decide whether something is worth thinking about or not. And it's this, it's shut up and make a video about it. Like I tell myself that, shut up and make a video about it. If I'm just like ruminating on something, whether it's just politics or something in Bitcoin or a family thing or a productivity hack, uh, thought about my car, thought about my house, thought about my backyard, anything, anything positive or negative, it's shut up and make a video about it. And because it does something, it goes, okay, do I have the energy to frame up the phone, hit record, hit, you know, hit record, talk about it, and then watch it back myself and post it. Like, because that requires energy, that requires mental energy, and it requires framing of what's the title going to be? How are people going to perceive this? Is this even interesting? And if it's not interesting, like if I can't get myself to get over like the hump of going through the mental energy steps and physical energy steps of making the video, then why am I even thinking about it? Like, why am I even thinking about that thing at that level? And because there's so much stuff in the world, right? There's so much stuff and the everyone's, everyone's problem right now is what to focus on. There's infinite things you could be doing at any one moment. There's infinite content that you could be consuming at any one moment. There's infinite tasks you could be doing at any one moment. And you're constantly just asking yourself, which is the best one to do? What's the best one to do with the resources I have available right now in this moment? Because I think about a lot how like a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of investors, a lot of people that are kind of like, I don't know, like post work, like, or they're like financially free or whatever, a lot of them become content producers, right? And I've been like, why is that happening? Why is that happening? And I tweeted yesterday too about how, like, I think people that are hyper online, it's also kind of like a new form of philosophy. And some people push back at that. They were like, no, like the internet is so dumb. Like the level of content on the internet and the average is so low and so dumb. That doesn't make any sense because we hold the philosophers on like such a high pedestal. But if you boil philosophy all the way down, like people looked down on philosophers also. Like they're it was just like, hey, you're like, you're not being productive. You're not doing anything. You're just sitting around talking and sitting around thinking. That doesn't, like, what does that mean? And it's like, what are people that are hyper online doing? They're sitting around and thinking and they're sitting around and talking. And so most, like, most debate on the internet is kind of at some point like self-reflection. And so shut up and make a video about it is just a way that I'm trying to, like, think, is this thought, is this content, is this thing that my brain is spending mental energy on is it something that, you know, is above 50% of the other stuff that's out there? Or even reframing that, not even making it about like better or worse. Is it something that's positive? Like, is it something that is refined and positive enough to stand on its own in a way that helps me or help others? And I think what people would say that like do have large followings is like your niche develops over time your niche develops over time because you have to always be shipping. You should always be shipping some sort of idea or some sort of work. There's no dead time. There's no dead time. There's no dead content. Everything is positive because you are like literally alive and your brain power is going and going and going based on the input that you're feeding it. And so that means there is some sort of output. Every single minute, you can be meeting with someone or making a video or watching a video or doing a task. That's literally like you can be doing that every single thing. And I feel like the new kind of level of high performers that both do a lot of tasks and do a lot of content and have like what we consider just kind of like great personal brands, they're just masters of time allocation. And in and, and bigger than just time allocation, they're masters of focus, like and of being content because 
the overwhelmingness of there's infinite tasks you could be working on and there's infinite videos you could be making there's infinite videos you could be watching means like that's overwhelming what is there to do you can't do all of it so you have to choose what to do and you have to enjoy your decision you know how that overwhelming feeling of like you pull up netflix and you're like what should i watch and like the energy of thinking about what to watch weighs out the like relaxation you receive by watching someone everyone's going through that and everyone's going through that even back on the product productivity side of like what should i actually be working on what should i actually be working on and then just kind of continuing like that's what good management is great management in a company is you being able to relay such clear vision such clear vision such clear vision that every single person on the team is able to like make that decision make that decision make that decision of what they can be working on and so there's no dead time there's no dead time because there's no task too small if you have a small window then plug in a small task and even if the task is thinking even if the task is thinking clearly or refining clearly what you think, be comfortable in that and fully do it. So shut up and make a video about it is something that I try to do to my own self of, is this refined enough in order to put the work in to kind of post it?